hello guys today in this tutorial i will basically show you a new tool that i developed on my website which is freemediatools.com and this tool allows you to extract all the text from a pdf document and basically download it as a mp3 audio file so let's suppose let me show you the live demo of the tool guys so the link is given in the description of the video of the live demo if you want to use this tool you need to basically select a pdf file let me select this pdf file guys so let me show you the content of this pdf file so this is actual content you will see some uh, sample text is there inside pdf document and if i want to convert this into audio i will simply select this and simply select my language so various options are there various tones are there english you can select any individual country let's suppose i select english united states and then we have a button out there as i click this button a progress bar will run and it will upload the file and then it will process it you will see that nice animation happening and after that it will download the file mp3 file as an attachment once it completes the processing and converts it into a mp3 audio file so it will take some time guys it will doing its processing for a while and after that it will download a mp3 audio file so it is processing it so just wait so now guys you will see that your file has been downloaded and now if i play this file you will sample now see pdf this is a simple pdf file fun 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 laura mipsum dollar sit amit consec the tour damalic lms glicinia neck aluctus alike ped massa impredia so you can see that guys uh, a person is speaking the words which are written in the PDF document. So first of all, we are extracting the text from the PDF document and then we are using a library in Node.js which is called as GTTS to convert the text into audio. So we are using two libraries for this process. So if you need the full source code guys, I have also given the full source, co source code of this tool alongside with all the features such as progress bar, all that stuff. You can deploy this on your own website as well if you want to earn a lot of money. So the link is given, you can directly purchase the full source code and you will basically get this directory structure after you purchase it from stripe.com. So we will basically build it from scratch guys. So now first of all, let me tell you the libraries which I have used for this project. npmjs go to and then we are using this first of all this dependency which is pdf text extract. So what it does basically it, uh, extract the text from the pdf document. So its job is to, we are using this module which basically extracts all the text from the PDF document. And secondly, we are using a, another dependency which is called as GTTS. So this library makes it very much easy if you want to convert a text into MP3. So we are using these two dependencies. So what I will do is that I will basically create a new project here. I will say make directory. Uh, PDF to audio project. I will CD into this and right here inside your Visual Studio Code text editor basically we will make a new npm in a dash y so this will create the package.json file guys in the root directory so after doing this we will install all the modules which are there for this application so we will install express we also need the malter dependency for uploading the files we also need this pdf text extract and also we will need uh, gtts that's all so these are the four dependencies which are needed for this project guys so we are installing it and uh, now we need to make our index.js file so just make it So now guys we will basically first of all write a basic express server we will say express we will require the express module and then we will make a new express app we will listening on this app on 4000 And now guys basically we will make a new get request. So we will say that 
we need to load the file index.html so now in the root directory just make a index.html file so you will change the title to pdf to mp3 audio you can have a simple heading so now if you boot up the server guys if you start the server just type the command nodemon index.js nodemon is basically a tool if you make any sort of changes it will automatically restart your application even globally install that localhost 4000 you can see that so now we just need to basically make a uploads directory guys so where all your input files will be stored pdf files and for this we require basically our uh, malter dependency we will simply require it and also guys we will require body parser middleware so for this we will use the express url encoded extended to false so this is required whenever you are working with forms in express express.json so these two lines are required these are middlewares for form processing and also guys we will make uh, the static directory which we have created which is public sorry this is uploads so we have made this directory a static this uploads directory and uh, now what we need to do is that basically we need to make a storage object for malter library so this is very simple guys so this will tell the uh, malter where to save the files uploaded files so here we are telling Malter you need to save the files inside the uploads directory that we created right here so and also the file name so this file name will be automatically given unique name you will see that we are using date.now function so every time the file is uploaded with a unique name so this is a storage object now we simply need to call our uh, we need to create our pdf to audio upload we will call this malter with the storage that we defined and we will only be uploading a single file and uh, this now we need to create our simple form guys so just create a simple form here so basically if you purchase the full source code guy you will get all uh, the html code as well because for this tutorial html code is not relevant i will simply paste it this is a lot of code uh, let me just paste this code here. This is very self explanatory code guys. We are including bootstrap. If you see basically this is an interface which uh, includes all the languages Albanian, um, Arabic, Armenian, all the languages in this world. So we are including it inside a select field and then we have a progress bar. Also if you see we have a progress bar. We have this input field. We are only accepting PDF files. We have given IDs, names, all that stuff. So if you just refresh now guys, the interface will look something like this. Same to my website, you will see that. So, so in the inside the select field, we have, uh, have different languages which the user can select. And now we simply need to basically include jQuery as well guys. So for this project, we will use jQuery to make our life little bit easier because in vanilla javascript you need to write a lot of code but using jquery it makes it very much easy so what i will do is that i will create a new directory for storing our javascript so we will say js slash script dot js so we will make a folder here what i will do is that i will make a public directory here just wait this is a good practice just make a public directory move the uploads directory into public and move your index.html file to public like this so in this way guys you just need to make our static directory as public and just change the path to here public slash uploads and here we just don't need to write like this get request it automatically recognize that if you now refresh the application will run perfectly so now we need to create a javascript folder right here and inside this we will create our script.js 
that's all so right here we will write our javascript code guys so first of all we will uh, have the language which is the default language which is english us and uh, here we have given the language selector language select field so whenever user change this value this event handler will automatically occur this callback function and we need to change the language so we will basically get the value that the user has selected option selected value so after this we will create a files variable guys and we will now be binding the submit event handler to the form so when the form is submitted we will have this submit event handler so e dot prevent default to prevent the auto submission of the form so if you now see basically if i have form is submitted just to cross check if i refresh now if i upload my you can see form is submitted so now the javascript code is perfectly working guys so inside this we now need to basically first of all change these values so these are some code guys that you need to write here first of all we are changing the text to uploading file we are disabling the button and changing the progress bar width to 00 and we are calling this method guys that we need to write here this method will be responsible for converting the file so this is a long method so what you will see guys if i now select my sample file the change the button text will change uploading file and now it, the button is disabled you can't click the button so this is really useful for user experience if you are deploying a real tool in production level you need to do these little things which will rank your tool so that's it that is important and one more thing guys for uh, selecting your input file we need a extension like this if client side javascript is not supported in that case we will simply have this please upload a pdf file like this uh for this yeah so this is only there for if you you don't you only need to select pdf files so this pdf filter is there basically if user select a video file image file in that case a alert message will come here please only upload a pdf file in that case so now if all the things are correct guys we will land into this convert file function and inside this we will basically compare the length of the file we will say if file dot length is greater than 0 in that case we will use our ajax in this case guys you will need to use some ajax here for using ajax we will first of all make a post request so for doing it it very easy we need to declare a form data now we will use a for loop here i files dot length i plus plus so we will basically get the file files like this we will append it so inside form data api we have a append method we can append any file here with the file actual file and the file name so in this case the file name is there inside file dot name so we are using form data guys you will see that so now we will make a simple post request to actually upload the file using ajax you can console log the form data if you like if i now refresh now click this if you see in the console we need to get our form data let me see you will now see form data is printed out in the console if you don't see it let me show you this is the form data it got here you will see that so it has got various properties so after doing this guys we now need to make a simple ajax request here we will declare form data to so now to make a ajax call in jquery we write like this dollar ajax we put the url here which is upload pdf to audio 
and uh, it takes a type parameter as well which is post data as well which is form data and uh, then we have the attribute which is process data which is false content type is also false and success callback so success callback guys basically means that if your file is successfully uploaded this callback will occur you can console log the data this will return the path of the uploaded file so now we need to make this post request inside our index.js so what i will do i will simply make the post request upload pdf to audio so for doing this guys it's a little bit difficult uh, this code will look like but it is not difficult at all you now we need to call this that we declared pdf to audio this is a middleware which will actually upload the file we will take request response function error so here we will say if any sort of error take place then we will return out response dot end and we will say error uploading file if no error take place guys in that case we will return out a json response and inside the json response we will basically pass the full path of the file which is present inside request object and then we have file dot path so what you will see guys basically the file will be uploaded inside the uploads directory and the path will be returned to the client side using this method response dot json so if i now refresh the application click now guys if you see basically the path is returned to us this is a path that you can see guys which is public slash upload slash this is a file name dot extension which is pdf so now guys we now need to simply extract the text for this we again need to go to our index.html and uh, index.js sorry javascript code script.js so we are console logging the uh, data so now we now need to basically what we need to do we now need to make a second ajax request we will declare a object here let data to we will get the path here this is the object path will be data.path and the language so whatever language the user has selected guys we will have the language so we have selected basically the language you will see it, it is present inside the language variable and default language is english us so we are passing this object here and now we will make change the text of the button just to clarify to the user that now your file has been successfully uploaded we will simply say button text file uploaded now processing so if you now see guys what will happen if i simply select file uploaded now processing so now the button text is changing perfectly so now form data2 dot append we will append the path which is data dot path if you see guys we are having this variable form data2 we are passing the path here which is data dot path so now we need to make another ajax request guys rare dollar ajax so this time the url will be pdf to audio again this will be a post request so data we now need to convert the object into string so for this we will use the json dot stringify method and basically we will convert the object into string data to content type we will have application slash json data type once again will be json then we will have our success callback once again so when your request is successful this callback function will occur we can console log the data 
like this so now we are making a simple post request guys we are passing this object we are passing the path of the file we are passing the language now inside index.js we now need to make this post request pdf to audio so now we can get the path of the file using request.body.path and the language you can get request.body.language so whatever name parameter that you have given inside our script.js if you see inside object we have path language and we are getting request body so for this we are using this uh, middleware that you see guys we have included the middleware have express these two lines so request.body this is the thing that we used so after this now guys we now need to uh, include the library which is uh, pdf text extract so pdf text we need to include this and also gtts so just require this library as well so gtts so after this guys now we need to do we need to call this library extract method and we will pass the path request.body.path and there is an option which takes is split pages so we need to set it to false and error text so basically guys if any sort of error take place this callback function will return an error you can simply console or error and then we can return out the response to the server sorry client 500 response that uh, error extracting pdf text so right after this guys if no error take place in that case we will create a file in our root directory so we will say we will explode this text into new line characters like this by using the join method and for this guys we need this uh, file system module which is a built in module in uh, node.js and also our path module as well so these two modules are required and after this we will simply say file system write file synchronize and we will write this output file so now we need to make basically give it a a output file variable so just declare a output file variable path at the top date dot now and uh, output.txt so this file will be created automatically so output file with the content which is text content so if you just uh, basically console log it guys just to cross check that if it is extracting the data from the pdf file or not so if i now submit my pdf file so if you just con check the console guys so you will see all the data which is uh, there in the pdf file is extracted and it has made a txt file you will see that so now we need to simply convert this txt file into the mp3 audio file so how we can do that we can use it the gtts we can make a output file path variable so this time this will be date dot now uh, output mp3 and we will use a gtts it basically have a sorry gtts voice new gtts we have included that module we will pass the text that needs to be converted into mp3 and the language request what we have stored this into the language variable that's all now we need to save this so we what we will say gtts voice it contains a save method or we can stream it directly to the client we can need to save it here you will save it in the output file path this then we will have a callback function if an, any sort of error take place then we will need to remove this file in the from the server and then just return a status of 500 to the client we will say that error 
generating audio. If no error take place, then we will return out the path. Path is equal to output file path. That's all guys. So this is all the application in the server side. Now we need to simply modify the code inside our client side. So inside our JavaScript, we need to now display this file or download the file as an attachment. So for downloading it, it's very simple guys. Uh, we need to write these lines. You can see that guys. So what we are doing right here, window.location.href and then we are making a simple get request to slash download and we are passing the path here which is present inside data.path. So if you just refresh now and just see what is happening. So if I select my so the path will be there guys you will see that uh, it is uh, processing it so just wait for the processing to finish you will get the path right here so just wait basically it is processing it after the processing it is done you will get a response in right here It is converting that text into mp3 using gtts library. If you just see our, okay, it is saying that cannot get slash download. So that's perfect guys, because we haven't defined that slash download request. If you see inside our C guys, our mp3 file has been generated. So we can simply play this file. If you see. Sample P. Amit, I so now what we need to do, we need to now simply download this file. So what I will do, I will write this simple download request. So this request is done guys. This is a very general code which allows you to download the file in the attachment. So what we are doing, we are picking up this file which is stored inside this mp3. We are downloading it as an attachment so inside this we are having uh, we are having request query path and then we are uh, using the download method of the express library response dot download to download the file as an attachment and then we are deleting the file that's all so and in the javascript code also guys we do need to add some things right here if you see now if i uh, just refresh, click file uploaded now processing. So this progress bar will not be, uh, the thing is guys, there is some error right here because the progress bar is not moving in the correct direction. For that you need to write this code right here also. This is some complicated code. So what I will do is that I will simply copy this code here. You can find out this code guys after you purchase it. The link is given in the description. You can directly go to stripe.com and after that you will get this source code. Let me paste it. So this is the overall code guys, the JavaScript code. So what I will now refresh. So now you see upload successful. The, the progress bar is also showing here. So file uploaded now processing. So once it's complete processing, your MP3 file will be downloaded. So this is a really nice application guys that you can deploy if you want. Many a times there are people which want to convert their PDF document to audio MP3 file. So this is a nice little tool website that you can deploy on your VPS server. And once it finishes, it will basically download the file as an attachment. It totally depends upon, you can see that, how your big file Sample is there. PDF, Semper Pulvanar, Enum, Nullum Vita Memories. You can take any PDF file of your choice, convert a whole PDF book to ebook, so that audio book as well, you can call this. 
So the link is given guys, you can directly test out the live demo of this tool before purchasing the code. You can see the live demo which is deployed on my website freemediatools.com and you can also purchase it from stripe.com. The link is given and after that you will get this directory structure. So please hit that like button, subscribe the channel as well and I will be seeing you in the next tutorial.